after playing around with some uh, UV mapping of a bottle like this, sort of a product bottle, and having fun doing that, and then trying out some decals. I guess I got interested in doing bottles. And I decided that I would model something like a Mountain Dew bottle. All right, everybody has to have a good soda bottle in their 3D portfolio. And so that's what I'm gonna do. But really the inspiration came from um, another uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I think it's called Blender for Designers. And he did a great, a great bottle. And so I'm gonna do something similar like that. All right, so I'll put a link in the description to uh, his channel and uh, that particular tutorial and you should definitely check it out and I'm going to do something very similar because I just want to have uh, one of these on my channels all right so uh, here I am in my older version of blender so there might be some challenges ahead for us and I'll just go ahead and put on the screencast keys all right good enough bring that up a little bit okay and uh, we're going to I'll just uh, select everything and delete everything in the scene uh, but we are going to need a background image and so I just searched around for a background image that uh, I thought I, I would like to try to try to model and it's going to be this Mountain Dew all right so look at it from the front ortho view and that's my uh, sample bottle that I'm going to model all right I won't be able to do all these um, parts in the model we're not going to do that we're just going to do a bottle it doesn't have to actually be Mountain Dew although I guess in my my image here it turned out to sort of be Mountain Dew all right and don't mind the, the label I, anyways uh, so that's what uh, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and, and model for you all right so uh, there's the there's the image and it's relatively centered so I think we'll just go ahead and leave it like that and I'm in front ortho view and I could probably change this so that this only shows up in the front. So if I happen to hit three for some reason, go to the side, it's not there. All right. Screencast keys are on. I'm going to switch over, though, to Cycles Render. And we're going to give this a shot. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring in a cylinder to start this. But this cylinder is going to have 15 vertices instead of 32. So I get 15 there. All right, um, I think I will also actually get rid of the uh, grid floor. Under display, uncheck that. All right, so there's my 15 uh, vertices uh, cylinder. And I'll go into edit mode and in face selection, of course you can select those down there. I'm just using the shortcut like that. I'm gonna select the top and the bottom and X delete the faces so we don't need those. Um, another thing I think I will, no, nah, I won't have to do that. All right, okay, so let's go in edit mode and we'll go into Z for wireframe. And I'm gonna hit S and select it all and hit S and I'm gonna scale it all up like this. I'm gonna scale it to the widest region, not the indent region there. Okay, I'm gonna go into vertex selection and B and box select these. And I'm gonna bring them down, um, I think right to the very bottom. Okay, that's that's good enough for the moment for that stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and throw in some edge loops and start marking off where this thing indents. Control R and pull this down. And of course we're gonna need another one up here. And um, Let's see what happens if we just start grabbing those faces and pulling them in. So I'm going to scale, but not in the Z direction. So I'm going to go scale, shift, Z. Yeah, and it does that, right? So we need more support. So what I'm going to do is an edge selection. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Now, another thing you can do, of course, is if you're having trouble seeing is, is in the background images, you can put this out in front. And that sometimes will help. And I've do find that that's a little bit better. So there's my edge loop right there, sort of marking off the boundary of where that indent will be. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put another one in there, around there, and I'll put another one in here. Oh, did I get it? Oh, maybe I got two in there. What the heck did I do? I should have looked. There we go. I'm gonna slide that down to there. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll shift select all those faces now inside there. And then I'm going to hit scale shift Z and I should be able to pull those in like that. Let's um, 
go back into solid mode and switch that to the back and I'll close that for now and let's put a subdivision surface on this and I'm gonna bring it up to three actually the render I'll bring up to three as well I'll hit smooth so we'll have to tighten this up uh, later on and that's what we'll do let's go back into edit mode and into vertex selection and wireframe and so um, I'm going to work on the bottom and create these um, protrusions there's five of them all right so I'm gonna hit seven is the top control seven is the very bottom all right so here they are and it is a little confusing with that indent but there they are there all right so if I select one we know on the bottom and I go control seven we see that it's the outer ring all right so what I'm gonna actually do is select every third uh, vertex so I've selected one here so I'm gonna skip two select that one skip two select that one skip two and select that one I'm holding down shift to add to my selection that one and uh, there we go like that okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit s and I'm gonna scale them in all right like this I can get out a wireframe and it'll look like that. I'll scale them back just a little bit. Okay, so we're starting to get that effect. Now, um, let's go back into object mode and see. Okay, that's looking okay. I might want another edge loop in here or perhaps, yeah, we'll put in another one here. Right about there. So it doesn't come down too far. And I do want uh, some a nice um, division line for where the uh, label comes in. So we'll deal with that in a bit. But you can see we're starting to get that pattern. So we'll go back to edit mode, deselect that. And I'm going to select the entire edge loop here. All right. And I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to hit E to extrude and S. And I'm going to start pulling it in like this. Okay, you're starting to see it rounding. Deselect, go back into vertex mode, and I'm going to grab these same ones that I had pulled in earlier. Those ones there. And I'm going to pull them up a little bit, and that creates a little bit more uh, interested rounding to that structure. All right, and then I'll come back into edge selection, and I'll shift alt, and I'll click that. Of course, shift alt, because I'm on a PC. And we're going to hit E to extrude and scale again. And we're going to come way down towards the middle. So let's uh, go into object mode and have a look at what we've done. Okay, so we're creating that, that bottom region. Cool. All right, so now let's go ahead and, and uh, shift alt and click and select uh, all of that. And let's go shift S cursor to select it. So bring the 3D cursor right down there. And let's bring in a circle, shift A, uh, circle. Let's do it with 15 vertices to match that one. And let's scale it down so it fits there because there is a little circle underneath there. Okay. And then I'm going to select that circle and that section. And I'm going to bridge those, bridge edge loops, control E, bridge edge loops. Okay, just like that. All right, I'll shift alt and click that. And now we're going to bring it up a bit. So I'm going to hit E to extrude and we'll come up a little ways. E to extrude will come up just a little bit more. And then E to extrude and we'll scale once, just maybe a bit. E to extrude will scale again. And E to extrude and we'll go alt M merge at center let's have a look at that so we've got that little circle uh, on the bottom okay cool let's save our work and let's come back and have a look at this let's look with the, uh, the wireframe Okay, I'm going to switch this to the front again. Okay. What I might want to do is I might want to look at lowering this edge loop. 
I see that they do come in a little bit as well. I'm going to lower the edge loop to about there. And uh, let me see if I can grab all of this stuff and scale shift Z and we'll taper it in a little bit. It's not going to follow the diagram exactly. Let's have a look at that. Switch that to back. All right, so it tapers in at the bottom like that. All right, very nice, very nice. All right, let's go work on uh, the uh, top part of this as well. Let's go back into edit mode and wireframe and like that. Okay, we'll, we'll do some more work with these uh, curves in a bit, but let's grab all of this stuff and I'll do it from here and I think I'll extrude all the way up. I think I'll go all the way up to the very top, in fact. And then we're going to scale to get just to roughly get the shape of the cap. So notice that the diagram's not exactly centered. I might work on that in a bit. All right, and then we'll go and start throwing in some more edge loops. All right, put one, um, let's put one here and just and scale. Start getting that. Put one here. I mean, this is the fun part. Um, I'll start scaling that in. And do another one here. And we'll scale it out. Okay, Shift Alt and click that one. Scale it out. I can hold shift to make it go a little bit slower like that Okay, so now let's get in here um, Let's let's put some edge loops up for the cap what do I do here Let's put one here just to start with and here and grab all these at the top and I'm going to um, actually I'm going to put another edge loop here first, and then I can grab these ones at the top. I'll select all of those. Of course, I'm getting the back ones too because I'm working in wireframe, and I'm going to scale them in to get that bit of a, a curve. All right, so let's see if we can um, move the diagram a little. Try 0 0.06. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not perfect, but just to work on the cap anyhow. <clears throat> okay, so um, I'm just I'll, I'll tweak it uh, here and there and see uh, see what we think. I'm extruding again, and I'm going to scale, bring it right up, and then I'm going to scale in again. Okay, uh, we'll put another edge loop uh, here, and then I will see. I'm, I'm going to move this one down anyhow, and this one. And I just want to look at this. Uh, it tapers in a little bit. I think so, so I'm just gonna scale in like that a little bit and then it'll come out and then it'll taper out right all right so let's go ahead and bring this one down further yeah to about there I'm gonna scale this in just a little, a little bit more Okay, I'll do another one here. I'll do another one down here. And then um, I'm gonna put another one here. I wanna scale this in. And another one here actually. I'll start, uh, start uh, building this stuff up. All right, let's scale out in.
scale this one out. Another one here. Let's scale this one in. And down here. Let's scale this one in. And I think what we'll do is we'll bring that one down. I'll put another one here. Because we'll need another one there. Take this one. Let's have a look and see how we're doing. Let's put that in the back. Finish that top off in a bit. Okay, let's keep going here. Uh, for the top, uh, I'm going to um, select that edge loop there, hit E to extrude, scale it in. But there, need extrude, I'll scale it in a bit more. And then I'll do the same thing, Alt-M, Merge and Center. Let's have a look at that. Okay, that looks okay. Might be a bit too round, so. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna put one more edge loop here like that. I can move that again if I want to as well. loop here just to tighten that a bit yeah okay okay and then let's work on this region a little bit more okay mm, edit mode I got two so if you ever find that and the transforms not on the line you got another one selected all right so let's go to here and bring it up a little bit that guy there, right? Let's bring that down a bit and I'll just put another one here and we'll scale in the X. That's not what I want to do. I want to scale globally. Uh, well, actually, no, that's going to be all right. Let's have a look at that. one down a little bit so I have a nice place to put the label I'll make the other one a little bit of I don't know if in the real bottle it's quite that sharp but uh, I, I do like that that look um, I might I might want one here I can always get rid of it if I want to <clears throat> I kind of like it like that of if I like this you know what I think I'm gonna do a bit more on the cap here uh, I want that a bit sharper so oh, another one selected I'm just gonna bring it down yeah I like the rounding of that <clears throat> I think what I need is another edge loop in here and we'll scale shift Z that just to make it a little bit less sharp I hope I did that I may have to move this uh, all both of these edge loops down I probably did what I needed to do anyhow well, now I'm not really looking at the diagram I'm just doing what I want to do and this could look more like a cap just on the underside here uh, so the way the way to do that is to grab both of these and just to bring them down just to sharpen that region up there let me see how how much I've gone off of the diagram That's all right. 
right. It's all right. I'm just, I'm, I'm just using this as a uh, as a as a guide. I want to do that little bulge out. I don't know if that's caused mostly by those things. Let's just try it. If I put an edge loop in here and I bring it up, let's just go SZ0 to make sure it's straight. And if I scale it in a small bit, just like that, let's see if I uh, throw anything off in the bottom region. I don't know that that's necessary. I don't, I don't think that helps. I don't think that helps. I think it makes it look weird. Well, that's that's pretty much it. All right, I mean, it might be exaggerated those that those indents, but that's I think that's kind of it. Are those too high up? I think that looks uh, probably okay. Yeah, and then in the next video, I'll start putting on some materials. So pretty straightforward, but fun to do.